What's up, nerds? Gauzmaster here, aka GDD3, with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. Today's quest, we're gonna get eerie on that tail feather. So, as you can see, we got Sark and the Unbroken. Dude, this is a stupid deck. The cards that are in here are just all of them Eerie Ultimatum, Drown in the Lock, Mirror March, Song of Creation, Tamio, Urza, Lord High Artificer. This card is ridiculous. You should grab it. God Eternal Ronas for that double strike. And Vardrock, Apex of Thunder, to go pull the cards back that you need. Court of Calling, because why not? And Ember Cleave. This is a redonkulous deck. We're going to photo shoot this one. Just smile. Hi. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, let's jump right into it. Uh, let's not mess around. Let me just show you what the deck does. We're going to be fighting this guy. I forget his name. What, what is his name? I don't know. We'll see. Let's go conquer him. All right. Let's see what swaps I can see. I see a couple there. I, I've, I've been playing so much uh, Narset that I'm, I'm drawn immediately to the white stack, so I want to see those down. Immediately what I want to do is I want to go get Drown in the Lock uh, down so I can start feeding my, uh, my graveyard and just piling everything in there. All right. Amber Cleave we don't need. Most of what you're going to be pulling as you do this, you don't need... A lot of these cards in hand, frankly. A lot of the stuff, you're just going to be pulling it from the graveyard itself. Really, the key is song. You want to get to Song of Creation as quickly as possible. Another thing you can do, too, with Chord that is really good is you want to go grab a copy of um, Urza, Lord Artificer. Because the sooner you have him on the board, his uh, mana gains and his conversions are ridiculous. And in addition to that, we'll go that route right there. Let's do this. All right, let's see. We should, nope, 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 not now. Mistake. All right, come on, man. Just got to move faster. There's Song. That's what we needed. So let's go ahead and still get out the Artificer. Then we can get out Song next turn. And we should be game from there, my young Crunkables. Let us... Let's do this. Cascade. Yep, I'll take the five. Let's go get Artificer. Is that enough? I'm one short. Either way, I wouldn't have been able to go. All right. Let's see here. So we're going to throw this down. In fact, what we will probably do is just leave that there and try to cascade into getting Song down. I don't know that we will, though. I don't see a combo there. All right, let's do it now, shall we? Yes, right there. All right, here we go. Okay. Mirror March. We really don't care about any of those things. All we care about is getting as much Drown in our locks as we can possibly get. That way we can trigger all the things that we can and cause this stuff to just wreck them, rack them, rick them, rake, stick that sword into that snake. All right, here we go. One more turn and we should be able to pull this off. All right, this is the beautiful thing about Urza. He just gives you a blue mana to help start swing casting your next set. We don't need any of these puppies. Um, we don't need multiples of those. In fact, what we want to do is we want to go to Tamiya and see if we have an Eerie in the graveyard. And we do, Berber. And let's throw... Let's actually throw this in there and see if that winds up working the way Yonk 2 and let's go here. Maybe we can get a red cascade. Nope, black. We'll take it. That gives us all kinds of stuff. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Mirror March. Just triggers all kinds of different stuff, and it feeds the combo. So you're really dueling with three engines here. The Mirror March combo, the uh, Court of Calling combo, the Urza engine, and then the Tamio and Song engine. And you're just basically dumping everything with Drown in the Lock multiple times into your actual graveyard. And then you just let this puppy go ham. And that's not to mention before I used Sarkin's third ability to just ramp stuff up and get things going and down. Let's see if this does anything extra for us. Does this give us anything more? Uh, yep, we're going to quarter call. We're going to we're gonna actually go get Vadrock. And from Vadrock, we're going to go mutate. And we're done. Like, we don't need to do anything. Game's over. Like, I already want. Look at this, 244. But we're going to mutate because we're silly that way. And we're going to go grab another Drown in the Lock just to make sure we got plenty of fuel for the next uh, deal, uh, the next Eerie Ultimatum. And yeah, 
480 something swing. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, let's show you the deck again real quick. Uh, it takes a couple of turns to get going, but once it goes, that, I mean, that's essentially it. The game's, the game's over. Uh, my favorite things about this deck is you drown a lock, throws them in. I've messed with Vadrock. I tried building a cyclone, uh, an unpredictable cyclone deck to try to cheat Eerie out and to feed the graveyard. It's just clumsy to do. I'm going to keep playing with it. But for right now, this build is the most broken Eerie level of doing it. And it's fun. I love it. It was absolutely worth waiting for. So glad I got this chase card. And it takes some cards to pull it off. There's a lot of combos you can do for the conversion. Um, you can try pulling this stuff off with um, uh, the, the, oh, I forget the, 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 the support that does it, the, one of the uh, omens, one of the omens, I couldn't think of the word, but Urza Lord High Off, Artificer, Crazy, or one of the omens. That's it, my friends. I hope you enjoy this like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.